Oh no, 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 no. We are not. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> What's up, people? It's your boy Jatois. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Well, I wanted to try to figure out these propeller blades because I felt like a moron for not being able to get them to work in my stream. Well, I took another look at them and I think I found what I was doing wrong. So, these all need to spin the same direction mostly, but if you want to do a counter prop to stop all the uh, torque, you actually need to go in here. These need to be set to clockwise, clockwise. This one is actually, I have this back one here inverted. And with that one inverted, it's spinning now opposite. Now, of course, you still can't see this. For some reason, you still can't play this in the space plane hangar. You can use almost any of the other parts, but anything that does a 360 seems to not work at all in the space plane hangar or VAB that's okay it's I guess for now it's okay um, and in front of robotics you can but in here you cannot I'm not quite sure why that is still anyhow maybe the devs can clue me in on to why that is a thing but anyhow what you need to do is one you need to make sure that this second engine is indeed going inverted these now need to be set to normal clockwise and then you can go in here to each one and set the deploy direction to inverted. And I'm gonna set them one by one, inverted and inverted. So now let's go ahead and build the rest of our bird and see what we can do here. And look, Ma, we're all stock, not too shabby. We still need our cow, so we're gonna just gonna drop one cow on here. And I will set that up here in a second. Uh, so let's make sure that's still y'all. Make sure we set this one to pitch. Make sure we set this one to pitch and roll. And set this one to just roll. Okay. That's all set up. So let's go ahead and set up our... Whoa, we almost forgot our pitch in the bag. And that actually will work just well. I like that one. So what we need to do is go ahead and handle manhandle the rest of this. So we still have our custom group set there. That's good. Um, we have our main throttle. This needs to be on here on play position. And then we can go to here. And we're actually just going to remove all that because it doesn't work. And we're just going to rename this the engine. And then we're going to come here with our engines and they fix this and thank you very much guys for fixing that i was pulling my hair out anytime i had to mess with these uh that was one of my main pain points is having to click things multiple times like i have to right now because i have this engine tucked one behind each other there we go okay would it be nice if I can click on something and have a visible invisible or just toggle the surface on it so that way I can click through it but then again I think that would make more people try to use that feature for hacky reasons this is more for design okay so let's open track editor let's fix all these All right, everything's set. Everything should be ready. One thing I want to do here also is set this for my power generation. All right, let's see if it flies. Okay, so off the back, we're high enough to keep our propellers from hitting the ground. And on this one, they don't extend out like you saw with the stock propellers away from the surface. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's toggle on our electrical charge, take a look at all of our resources, uh, let's deploy our propellers, and let's start the throttle up. Let's take a look at our aerodynamic forces. Looks like everything's pointing the right way. 
we're going forward. So that's a good change. <laughs> we're very slowly progressing. It's ready to go. Ooh, a little bounce. But there it goes. It's actually flying. <laughs> So I wonder how fast this thing can really go. I mean, it's really super stable right now. So I I take back my frustrations. I just had a few things to figure out with it. It's not super powerful, but that's kind of what I would expect from a, a propeller plane. Uh, it's mega slow, and it is super fast draining that liquid fuel, as you see. That fuel is gone like that. <laughs> It's actually less efficient than some of the engines, some of the regular jet engines, which is a little scary. Um, I'm not quite sure why it would be that hungry, but I suppose it is. We need to turn back around. I don't think we're going to make it back to land at this point. That is super fast on that fuel. Let's turn it back. Oh, and we're out of fuel. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That was so fast. <laughs> Our tank is empty. Oh my god. That was 90 units of fuel just like that. If we make it back to land, this is going to be a miracle. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we are not. Oh. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> What just happened there? I have, may have done some tweaking and some editing and made myself a third engine. So here's the, your normal turbo shaft and here is the 121 EC version. This one just needs electric charge, which is a bit of fantastic. So I don't have to worry about all this. So let's go ahead and put these all on. Maybe I can find these. Can I get lucky? Yes, I can. Okay, and let's go ahead and slide this all back. We're going to be a lot lighter, so hopefully we'll jump off the ground a bit better. See, our electric charge is actually dropping pretty fast. <laughs> Even with the full exposure, we're not getting that much, so we'd have to use a lot bigger solar panels. Or make sure the sun is directly over top of us. We're at 50. Still no lift off at 50. I'd have to I'd have to nose up a lot more. Whoa, there we go. So we can get a lot more speed by using a lot less fuel and actually being able to run on solar so this would make some interesting crafts you know see how how long and how far you can actually go on solar only crafts I think that this would definitely be the way to go of course we're gonna run out of fuel and hopefully not eject ourselves into the atmosphere again which I think may happen here in a few seconds <laughs> all right we're going down here in a few and I want to see if it's actually gonna happen we're already going way faster because we're way, li way lighter so this is actually a plus I think we've already done way better at 122 meters per second that is beautiful so that's a drastic improvement 125 was our max of course we're now we're running low on fuel and well, we're going. We're gonna start going down because <laughs> we don't have we don't have enough power to spin the front ones. Ah crap! And now we got a bit of roll going on. Oh, can we drag it out a little bit more? Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can. Come on, believe in yourself. <laughs> Maybe we can throttle down a bit and get them both going. Throttle down a bit more. How slow do we need to go to get everything spinning again? Uh, 
I don't know if it wants to kick off again. This other one is not wanting to kick off. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I mean, you could make it on one propeller. It seems that, like the torque isn't as bad right now. But we would have to fight it. But we're going to try to land. We're going to see what happens if we can land in the water again. Here we go. Gentle quote unquote water landing. I'm going to put my wheels down just because it was funny last time. Hey, that was a mostly safe water landing. Of course, that's the last thing you want to do is be upside down like that. <laughs> Nothing got destroyed. We stayed in one piece. Somehow, yeah, we are not generating anymore. Let's turn off our tour. There you go. We're safe. Maybe we could go and jump on our airplane and flip it over. But yeah, there you go. That is some ways that, that this could actually be a thing. If they actually gave us an electric charge. An electric resource, a resource, a, a turbo shaft that uses electric charge as the resource. And it could be a really good thing to be the next thing for Kerbal Space Program. Because we have these types of engines already. I'll let them figure out the balance. I just converted it over. But if they want to do the balance on it, that's even better. I may do one and, and just drop it into pure. Uh, and see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna get on out of here. If you like what you see, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, I'm out of here, and a peace. Woo! That was fun. <laughs>